Hi there, it's Eddie, the Magic Monk. Welcome to another math lesson. Uh, today we're going to talk about box plots. Uh, to do this lesson, you need to be able to calculate the five number summary already. So if you don't know how to do that, have a look at our previous lessons. So I'm going to make up some data. Now, uh, I'm going to give this data a bit of meaning this time. So here is the situation. The ages of shoppers at a particular clothing store on a Monday afternoon has been recorded below. Calculate the five number summary and draw a box plot. So I'm just going to make up some ages for these shoppers. Um, let's say uh, 20... Uh, actually I'm going to be a little bit tricky and just not put the numbers in order. Um, young person, older person, really, oh, 28 is not that old. Um, Team 22. Okay, so this is, uh, I guess, a more youngish crowd in this uh, clothing store. So uh, these are the shoppers and uh, the first thing you want to do is calculate the five number summary. Now step one is to put the numbers in order. So step one, put numbers in order. From smallest to largest. So uh, I'm just going to do this verbally. We have 11. Uh, 14, two fifteens, sixteen, uh, two people are eighteen, and then we got a twenty year old, twenty two year old, uh, twenty eight, and thirty three. Okay, so I've put the numbers in order. And now the five number summary, uh, well, we need the highest number. So the five number summary. We want oops, the highest, the upper quartile, median, lower quartile, and lowest number. These are the five number summary. Okay, so obviously we got the highest is 33, smallest is uh, 11. Okay, now we want the median. So to get the median, the first thing I want is to find the median position. is n plus 1 over 2. n is how many people there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 people plus 1 divided by 2. So that's 12 over 2, which is 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 18 is the median. Which leaves us the top half. That's the top half and that's the bottom half. Okay, top half we have one, one, two, three, four, five, five numbers. So that must be the upper quartile and this must be the lower quartile. So we have 18 is the median, upper quartile is the median of the top half and lower quartile is the median of the bottom half so we have the five number summary and now to draw the box plot the box plot is basically just a graphical representation of our five number summary so the first thing you want to do when drawing a box plot is uh, the first thing you want to do is decide on the scale. 
and you can see that our smallest number is 11 and our biggest number is 33 so for my scale I'm gonna make it start on 0 and go up to 40 so we got 10 20 30 40 okay so from the scale I can now draw the box plot now the first thing you're going to do is uh, for the highest and lowest points you're going to draw a little dot so the highest dot is 33 highest point is 33 so where 33 is which is here I'm going to draw a little dot and where the lowest number is which is 11 which is about here I'm gonna draw a little dot okay and then what I'm gonna do is draw some straight lines where the upper quartile is which is 22 I'm gonna draw a straight line 18 where the median is I'm gonna draw a straight line lower quartile which is 15 I'm going to draw another straight line now once you have two dots and three straight lines you're going to join them up like so and this is your box plot so what does this box plot tell us well it tells us that the smallest data the smallest piece of data in our data set is 11 and the largest piece of data is uh, 33 and just by looking at the graph you can tell that the upper quartile which is here is about 22 and there is quite a big gap between our largest number which is 33 and the upper quartile so the top quartile which is between the largest number and the upper quartile is quite spread out and uh, the median is here and the lower quartile is here so you can see that uh, between the median and the lower quartile the gap is quite small now this also helps you to understand uh, the concept of five number summary so basically what the quartiles represent is that 25% of the data is between the highest number and the upper quartile another 25% of the data is between the upper quartile and the median another 25% of the data is between the median and the lower quartile and the last 25 percent of the data is between the lower quartile and the smallest number so that is the concept of quartiles so you can see that um, our highest quarter between the largest number and the upper, upper quartile uh, has a bigger range compared to uh, for example the, the smallest the lowest quartile between the lower quartile and the smallest number okay so uh, I've probably confused you by drawing so many things but really our box plot is uh, only hang on I'll just delete some stuff so this is all you have to do for the box plot two dots 
three straight lines downwards and horizontal lines, two horizontal lines joining them together. That's the box plot. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time.